got married and yes. as a wedding gift. Yes, so we, we received this, uh, this honeymoon to Las Vegas and as a wedding gift, and so we're up in the air. You know, we're in the airplane. We're a happy couple. And he said, I saw you flirt with that flight attendant and smacked me <gasps> on the airplane. And all kinds of things, of course, now going through my mind, like, what the heck? You know, and so the, the honeymoon period was fine, nothing really out of the ordinary. But when we got back home to Youngstown, it was just a whole nother story. Every wow. other day. Totally different guy than totally different the guy, guy than the guy that courted me. You know, um, I was a nursing director at the hospital at home, and he said that I was screwing the, uh, the men that were at work, and I was very involved in my church, That's and scary. he said I was screwing the deacons at the church, and you know, and then, you know, just every day, every day it was something. So it was not just his physical abuse, which he was very physical. But it was also that emotional abuse, dealing with the whole notion of you're not good enough, you know, you're not smart enough, and you know, just all these various things that were wrong with me. And then, then I later found out that he was on crack. And I, how did I find out? Well, I was in an automobile accident after we had been married, oh, well, maybe about six or seven months, I don't know. And I was in an automobile accident, and I broke my neck. And so, I, yeah, I'm walking miracle. What? Yeah, so I broke my neck, and I'm in the yeah, hospital. Lot of stories. In a hospital for a significant period of time, much of which I really don't even remember. Mm -hmm. But when I when I got out, he didn't come to get me. My mother came to get me. Um, and when she came to get me, I said, Mom, how long? You know, it's been like a month or so that I was in the hospital, and like nobody had paid my bills. So I said, I need to go to the bank. Mm -hmm. and so we, she took me to the bank, and all my money was gone. And he had taken the money. Um, he, he, left, he left too? Yeah, he subsequently tried to come back, but but now I'm really in a different place than I was before, because by right. this time I'm in my early 30s. And I'm like, no, this is not going to happen to me again. I'm just not going to do this. And I, I pa we're packing up all of this stuff and taking it to his mom's house and filing for a divorce and, and so forth and so on. And I went into the deepest depression at that point trying to figure out what in the heck is wrong with me? me. Mm, yes, what in the what heck is wrong, is wrong, with, wrong me? with me? And then I became what after you know I got some counseling and went back to school, started working on my master's degree, used myself as a part of my project for research because I couldn't afford a therapist. And I did my did my work on domestic violence and the whole cycle of violence mm -hmm. that occurs in these relationships to help pull myself out of it, then I became a man-hater. Mm. So I was a hater of the highest order, <laughs> you know, and really did not want to get close to anyone right. for fear of the pain that I would um, feel until I met my current husband, who I've been with for almost 25 years. So, oh, wait, yes. yeah. wow. so, so, so it can, it can happen, and I've just been on this, this road to sharing where I can with women who will listen that they can bring themselves out.